Oh, welcome to my channel where we're going to be doing the Devon County Show today uh, with Virtual Motors. So we're doing a bit with them on their stand um, and we'll get a good look around the animals. I'm sure there'll be some tractors here and meet a few people from Devon. Business, check it out. It's out of the festival at the minute. I'm just waiting for Joss from Recognition PR to come in there. Uh, I'm some tickets so I can get in. Oh, I've made it to the Virtual Motors stand. Look at this beast. We've got a racing simulator over there. We've got a touring car. Later, we're going to be doing a meet and greet on the stand and also a question and answer session. Um, so if anybody's got any questions, they could have fired them into me and see what I say. Big rugby theme and there's the perfect pass competition. So firing it through these tires, we'll see a little bit later what that's all about. I'm going to have a little practice, pre-practice on this what we're going to be doing then? Right? It's the, the, the perfect pause. So basically we've got a uh, 30 second window to get as many rugby balls through these tyres as possible. We're going to get Joe having a little practice first uh, and then uh, we'll give him the 30 seconds. How do you fancy your chances? Not very good. I, if I can get one through, I'm more than happy. Okay, <laughs> there's nobody on the scoreboard, so at least you'll get there's, on there. There's not many people watching either, so it's, it's easy today. <laughs> I wasn't under the time pressure of the game. I've just got two through in two goes. But let's see how it goes in 30 seconds. One. Right. 20 seconds left, mate. Two and one. Oh, that wasn't very good then, was it? <laughs> He's going to have a go now. Have you had a practice at this yesterday? Or is this, oh, this is your first time? Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm in the lead on the, on the scoreboard for like one. Right. Right. One try, I think. Joss is going to beat this, definitely. Joss, Joss, Isn't it? It's, it's a time pressure. I'm on the leaderboard still at number one. For how long? This this is like a lot better than I remember the PlayStation being. Yeah, he's doing it with proper eye sensing. <laughs> it like feeds back on the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. This is a good dive car. You'll feel everything on ground. Yeah. Wobbling. The only safety is we're uh, if we don't crash. Oh, there's a car in front. Is that me before then? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Pop back. On the sand, we've already got two people come to say hello. Oh, right, <laughs> Doing the perfect pass now. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Has one gone through yet? <laughs> Top, you'll never know. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Brilliant. Oh. I... YouTube's not got enough footage. Oh, you got it! Yes, I thought we were gonna run out of data. <laughs> Just leaving virtual, we're gonna have a little look around Devon Shore, see what we can see. Sweet, look at this. Eh? You don't get these at Yorkshire, sure. Or maybe you do, I don't know. One more college in Bicton. And this is what it's all about. Machinery. Look at that beast. Some McCormick's on show. Very big in this one. 
fast tracks and it wouldn't be a Joe Seals video without a TM320S, would it? Away from the farm for the third day, so we've got to get a TM in there somewhere, haven't we? Weapon. Also got some uh, Kubotas. Big one here, the 170 horsepower one. It's quite like the look of these. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll get a bit further, I think. Wad bikes galore. Some little sheep. Oh, look at that! I want one of them for garden. That is a beast. I'm just here with you and his mum, <laughs> and we're at the Devon show. And Hugh's got a YouTube. Show me, show me GoPro. GoPro. And it's what? Go check me out. GoPro 11. And it's Hugh the farmer. Hugh the farmer, check it out. You got some new Orleans as well here. Yeah? 210. And some more diggers. The big one there as well. Business. Oh, we've got a new Amazon sprayer. That's a dream, isn't it, eh? Swap mine for a new one. Lots of stuff crammed into this stand. And even the methane tractor. Ah, so this is full. Or oh, holds the methane that powers the new Holland. There it is, powered by nature. I got stopped by this methane tractor. I just had a quick look and then Grant's told me he is passionate about methane and you think this is the way forward? This is absolutely the way forward. I think that in a lot of cases, but methane, which is, you know, at everyone's sort of doorstep uh, on farm, has tremendous opportunities to help farmers get off grid. And in many cases, I think we're, we're going to be able to give farmers a secondary income. So what they produce on farm, they can use. The excess, we partner with them and we sell. And so it's about providing a long-term uh, revenue stream for a farmer, but also sort of future-proofing them against the energy crisis that's happening at the moment. So you see, it's not hydrogen, it's not diesel. It's going to be me then. Yeah, I mean, every renewable energy, if you think about hydrogen or EV, has its place. But in agriculture... We need power, we, don't we? we? We need power. There's often people are on single phase, it's difficult to get electricity. We've got methane at our fingertips and it's amazing what it can do. The byproduct, which is a happy byproduct, is the fact that this will help with the environment. And a, a, sing, a simple example, we've got a, a farm down in Cornwall that have reduced their carbon footprint from 850 tonnes a year to 87. It is going to be important that because everyone's wanting to go carbon neutral and stuff, yeah. so it is going to be important. So yeah, I'm interested to watch your space. So when you get up yeah. to Yorkshire, you'll have to uh, come and sort as a, a demo, aren't we? Oh, I'd, I'd be delighted, Joe. Yeah, yeah great. Brilliant. Thank you Good very much, mate. Yeah. yeah, you too. I like how this one's been set up. Nice cow brushes, massive fan. Oh, it's refreshing, that. This bit looks fun, so you've got um, some forklifts, I think. Oh no. Oh, oh they are on that. That was fun. You must be able to pick them up actually. Oh yes, you can. Face. Oh! Jeez. They just make it. still pick up some. Uh, Old defenders here, 36,000 that. You've got a few John Deere's on the stand. Look at this little beast, 4066. Tidy. Some grassland equipment, surprised that not being used at the minute. And 6R185. Nice. Similar setup to, uh, to what we've got, so a 6R215 with Amazon drill on the back. Nice, disc cultures. Oh, we got the cattle side of things here. I had to cut that short. I wasn't allowed in that area, supposedly, until uh, after one o'clock. Um, I think it's just been around the cattle or something. But obviously the security guard didn't know that I know my way around cattle, but... I'm not gonna, not gonna argue with somebody. Um, we're gonna go now and see the Exeter Chiefs play the rugby passing game. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll head that way and get back onto the virtual stand. Very, very nice job. Messi wants to jump number two. <laughs> now 
now from the most technical trick in freestyle motocross to make. All the professionals are doing it. I don't want to be hit by one of them balls. Has she missed yet? Wow. So Alex and the team here got the gold medal for the best car sam stand at Virtual Motors. Was that because you asked me to come? I think, I think so. That's yeah, like yeah. something to do with it. Claudia <laughs> McDonald. Um, yeah, joined Chiefs this year. Loving it. And I'm Cleaner Maloney. Brilliant, thank you. Would you uh, would you mind just setting the context of you know how the season shaped? Horse is coming out of the ring. It's starting to get fairly busy around here. We so they've got a tank here. Look at that. Fitter mat would be all over that, I'm sure. Some real fancy drones as well. Look at that beast. So just seeing how it reacts with the uh, movement, yeah, yeah, with the movement. So how what's the range on that one then? Five kilometers. Five kilometers. Is this like much, much further than? Or? Yeah. So with, with this system, I set it, uh, it goes up to twenty. Twenty k. Uh, Jeez. We have a, uh, this is the Thank you. Go further, so like we've got an LRT here, so we've got sixty. The LRT. Wow. Uh, yeah. On so on landing, you've just been telling me it's like this, it's just designed this, to break. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. So it's designed to break, but obviously to keep it. Service so that's, um, that's 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 pretty pretty yeah. So you just swap everything off. Get get on it. Oh, it's interesting that. Yeah. Maybe maybe in a few years we'll get some more out for civilians, eh? <laughs> interesting stuff here. That them drones. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. Look at that bubble machine, eh? Wow. Brilliant. Get that from a twist today. <laughs> nice. Look at that for a mower. She must suck all the grass up into the collecting thing at the front. Silage season with one of them. Just at the hex bait stand. And it's here again. <laughs> there you go. So I might just get some, a pair of shorts while I'm here, I think. Thank you very much for my extra shorts. I'll get these on at Centre Parks later. <laughs> well, I've just done a question and answer session with, I couldn't tell that then, with um, Joss from Bristol Street Motors. And um, yeah, I think you can find that probably on their website. Um, it should be posted up there because they recorded it all. So yeah, check it out there. That for a police car RS, eh? Boost. Walking past and I saw the uh, border force here. And look at the stuff that they've been taking off people. Also checking for like agricultural products and things like that as well. So um, yeah, working uh, working for for the community. Police dogs parking away there. Interesting actually talking to the border force. So um, they're saying about when they're stopping uh, illegal meat coming into the country. So like big kebabs and stuff like that that have not that have defrosted on uh, on route and. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, an interesting little chat with, with that chap there. He didn't want to be on camera though, unfortunately. Brilliant. There's a Unimog here. What a beast. It's the family one as well. Very nice. Becky, can we have a new car? Then there's a more agricultural one. Power takeoff on the front, front linkage. Tipping rear trailer. Oh man, about rear back. That's nice. That is really nice. Look at this. We've got giant tortoises here. Drinking in the uh, hot sun. Back in with the cattle now. We've got some uh, Angus on display. And some British blondes. Yeah, he's some weapon, isn't he? Hey. Eh? We're on that. Great that Devon Show are letting people walk around the cattle, um, letting the general public have a look at them. I mean, obviously earlier they didn't, but um, now they're uh, quite open to letting people see them, walk up to them, touch them. Like it's 
how it should be at these shows. A lot of shows now have been restricting people access to these sort of areas and I think um, it's key that this, this goes on. We've got some pigs in here as well. Sunning themselves. Some classic stuff here. Classic combined. The Massey. In original condition. 8 to 210 here. Wow, what a beast. And then even more as we go further down the line. Quite a bit of work on one of these. I think it was a 6640 as well. I shall remember using that one. Have as many doors or windows as that one's got. Um, if I don't think it had any doors on it. Um, Oh, it was bad. I wish I had a photo of it in its condition. Small older masses on show. Looks like a big one up here as well. Steam engines. Nice. Look at that. It's linked together. This thing now is huge. Somebody will know the horsepower. Let us know in the comments. I did buy Chandler's look of Lincoln. Yeah, what a beast. It's huge. He's just fired it up. What a beast. I'm well, kindly allowed to have a look in this cab of the 16 ton beast. He reckoned it could have been had anywhere between 350 and 400 horsepower. Which is just immense the amount of horsepower it's got for a 70s tractor. V8 Cummins engine in it. Mm, yeah, what a weapon. This is, this is a spacious cab. Really, really nice in here. Lovely. Um, I'd quite happily spend all day going up and down a field in this. Even now, it'd be, it'd be an honour. But yeah, yeah it's made my day getting in this. Classy man either, but this is a beast. You can't go to Devon, can you, without having some clotted cream? Nice. Lots of boats on offer at uh, Devon County Show. Not something you really see in uh, Yorkshire much. Look at this, eh? These guys sell turf. You can also buy sculptures. Brilliant. That bear's ace. Steep Izuzu, there with a roof tent on it. Looking well. I sort of have a dream to have a roof tent at one point, but I don't think Becky will live in that same dream. <laughs> Maybe in the future, eh? Getting a burger from Darts Farm. I'm gonna have this burger and then I think get my stuff and head off up to Centre Park. It's like a four and a half hour drive. Um, which is not gonna be fun. But um, yeah, if you've liked it, remember to press the like button, um, subscribe if you're not already, and we will see you uh, at Centre Park. I've got some other footage um, that I've created over the last couple of weeks to be uh, bringing out some about Mr. B's lorry. And um, yeah, well, I've got quite a few videos actually. So yeah, watch your space, see what we get up to. Bye. Before I go. Guys have stopped me <laughs> because we've got another sensation here off Instagram. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm Farmer Jimbo 97. Um, some of you might follow me already. Um, I've bumped into Joe. It was my friends that, yeah, introduced me. I don't actually follow Joe, which I feel quite guilty about now. <laughs> um, but I certainly <laughs> will now. And he's also um, going to start a YouTube because I've just convinced him. Yeah, I'm going. I don't know anything about YouTube, but I'm tempted to give it a go. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Nice to bump into you. Yeah. 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 Bye -bye. I'm on my way out now. Um, <laughs> 
motorbikes are in the background. Oh, it's been it's been a really good time in Devon. I just wish that we could have spent a little bit more um, time here and done the Saturday as well. But yeah, Centre Parks is calling with the wife and kids. A bit of recuperation, but um, still be videos coming. So don't worry. See you soon. Bye.